Spirit of Church. I'm your host, Harmonia Gordon. Thank you for joining us today. Today, we want to look at branding. And this is a lot different from what we mean by social media branding. For those of you who don't know who I am and who may be joining us for the first time, welcome. Thank you for joining us. SHIFT stands for simply helping individuals find their truth, their passion, their purpose, their thoughts. We share our thoughts, our ideas, and our truth to help someone as they go through their journey. Every individual that you meet has greatness within them, and they're on a journey to manifest that greatness. Sometimes they become discouraged. Sometimes they become cast down. Sometimes we feel like we're the only person that's on this journey, which is a reason why we have shift. It's a community where you can come and you can find a story that's similar to yours. You can find someone that's willing to share who they are, where they've been, and even where they're going. It's where we get to partner together to help each other on. In this episode, we're looking at branding. And what I mean by branding is how we label ourselves. Social media, we talk about branding on social media, building your brand for your business. That's not the brand I'm talking about. I'm talking about a culture brand. I was recently having a conversation with someone and, you know, she mentioned children. You know, her extended family member had children. And my thought was, hmm, is it by the same woman? Now, good thing for me, I because I'm, I'm shifting, I didn't say it. But after I thought to myself, it's odd that I even had the thought. And I started to recognize that the culture of even me having the thought is a part of the branding of who we are because if we go back to slavery and we look at how they treated us, we were just like animals, livestock. Men, culturally men, I'm not sure if we recognize that's where it came from, the need and the desire to go around and you know cohabit with so many different women was because they used you guys. You were like the buck. You were the big ram, the big stud that they sold and trade and barter from farm to farm to go around and produce offspring. If you were a strong black male in slavery, every slave owner wanted to buy you for you to reproduce. Why am I saying that? I'm saying that for us to become conscious that that's not really who we are, but that's how we were used. That's how we were trained. And now we have a choice and an option whether or not we're going to continue on that path or where the, we're going to choose and say, mm -mm, no more. There's this friend I have. I have a background in Canada Post or Corporate America for 25 years plus and he said you know Pam growing up he said he made a decision that he would only have one wife he said I saw it in the village around me he said I saw it he was from Africa he said I saw it he said I saw people hurting the husband the wives the family and he said I made a decision and that's all it takes it takes someone, each of us making that decision, not just as a man, but as a woman. Because even as I was thinking about the scenario, I thought, do women realize that they too are factoring into this branding? When you come and we're with a man and he has two or three other kids out there by different family, you know, relationship. Choose, make a choice, make a decision to not get in on that branding. If you get married and you have children, that's okay. But at that point, while he's still figuring out, 
don't add to that brand to continue the livestock mindset. Don't continue to be a livestock. Choose to be human. Choose to make a decision that I am human and I will not be traded. I will not be barter. I would not be used as a steed. But I want to have a choice to choose to live my life and live it full. Live it with someone who appreciates me, who I can appreciate and know that you know, we're each giving value to the other. June. God bless you. I love you. Remember that like the second hand on the clock, keep taking 60 tiny moves that you can come back tomorrow. I love you.